If you're anything like me, you don't like sports. I go get the ball? You just threw it, you go get it. I feel like if I was better at sports, I'd like them more, but I am not good at sports. If you're to look at my history with sports, you will see that my performance, it is bad. Yo, catch! I don't really like watching sports either, but I do understand there's a little crossover with what constitutes as a good time. Snacks, hanging with the boys, balls. I can see the appeal, it's just not my thing. For me, personally, I do other stuff for fun. Ooh, ice. <laughs> Woo! Give it a good stir. I did it. He likes it. You want to sip? You want to taste? Do you like it? You like it? Oh yeah, yeah. You want it? You want it? Go get it. The other thing I like to do for fun is learn things online indiscriminately. Well, there's no easy way to say this, so. I am sponsored by Skillshare. Again, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take their next step in their creative journey. Have you looked at my YouTube videos and thought, hmm. <coughs> well, if you'd like to make your own YouTube channel, you can. Learn from the man, the myth, the legend himself, MKBHD. Writing your script, shooting your videos, growing your channel, it's really good. Maybe I should take this class. Skillshare is specifically made for learning, so there's no ads, which is great. And there's new premium classes always being added, which is also great. It's great. Skillshare costs less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. But if you'd like to try it for free, then there's a link in the description that will give you a free trial of premium membership for the first 1,000 people that click on it. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. <clears throat> okay, so the first sport I ever went out for was basketball. Half court! My parents signed me up through the local YMCA, and every practice session was everybody just throwing basketballs at the hoop for like an hour, and I was really not good at it. In fact, the entire time I played basketball, I never made a single shot, except for one time. We were playing some game against a much better team who continuously scored on us. I hardly ever got the ball because everybody knew that I could not handle that. But in this game, I was in a really advantageous position, and someone tossed the ball to me, and there was my shot wide open and I took it and I made it I was so happy for my first score and then we lost the game I have made no significant difference on the outcome and then I got a medal I do not know how that works out but it was fun I got so much dopamine in that moment that it seared a memory into my brain I can't remember what I had for breakfast but I'll always remember that moment I don't know how I feel about giving kids medals for losing. I don't know if it's really good for mental development, but it does feel good. After a certain amount of time, I stopped playing basketball and started playing baseball instead. At this point, I was a little older and I had marginally improved on my hand-eye coordination. So I could take baseball a little bit more seriously. And this time I was on a team with my friends, which was awesome. It made playing the game way more fun. There was a snack bar at the place that we played games at. So we could always go and get like big league chew. And this is not interesting at all. But the nostalgia I get while looking at this product is palpable. It's potent, it's pungent. Ugh, big league chew is so good. Actually, hold on, Amazon. Big league chew. Is. I can get a pack of five for eight bucks. There's a bucket, but yeah baseball. I was also very bad at this game I might have been older. I might have had better hand-eye coordination, but I was still bad at throwing pitching hitting you could just generalize it and say that I was bad at the whole game, and you'd be right. I remember playing this one game where the ball landed right next to me. All I needed to do was pick up the ball and toss it. But while I was trying to pick it up, I wasn't looking at my hands. I was looking at the runner, just rounding the bases. And I kept missing while I was picking it up. So I was just looking at the dude taking all the bases while I was crouching over looking like a dumb idiot. And then I looked down and saw that I was missing it, picked it up and tossed it. But the runner got a home run by the time I threw it. Guess who was mad at me for that one? The whole team. If that doesn't sound that bad, trust me when I say it looked way worse if you watched it play out. Whew, tough inning. I'm gonna go get some more Big League Chew. I'm out of the old Chew. Gotta, all right. I was bad and everybody knew it, including me. They even yelled at me to not throw the ball when I got it because it usually meant someone was going to get another base, if not an entire home run, because I would just miss all of the time. Except for there was one time when I shot everybody up. We were playing a game and we needed one more out to win. I was shortstop at the time, which is right here, and the ball was hit right 
to me. I picked it up and everybody was telling me, don't throw it. Just, we'll get him out on the next hit. But I didn't listen. Instinct seeped into my brain. I was all animal. I got the out. The whole team was shocked, including myself. And it was the complete opposite of the basketball game because that throw won the game for us. I mean, it wasn't a really impressive throw, but when you take the worst player of the game and you get an out, it's a little bit cool. Everybody was freaking out. And they, everybody did that thing where they came up to me and they hit me in the head because they were like, good job. I don't get that in sports where they just hit you and spank you, but it is a form of endearment. So it felt very good to be congratulated. That was the coolest play in baseball that I've ever made. And I'll always remember it because all my other memories of playing baseball were really embarrassing. So I guess I get why people like sports. It's exciting when things go good. It's just that things don't go good for me a lot when it comes to that. This is kind of irrelevant, but I was thinking about when I was playing baseball. And I remember this time that there was this kid that we were playing against who was pitching and he had been hitting every person that went up to bat. And then I went up to bat and I could see that he was really upset. And then he threw the ball and he hit me. And I was like, hey, I don't have to walk. I can just, he can pitch again. I didn't think that hurt at all. And then the ref was like, nope, you have to go. And I was like, okay. And I walked to first base and I saw them crying. I just felt really bad because I know what it's like to suck. I hope that kid's doing okay today. If by some random chance of luck that you're out there watching this right now, just know that you're not alone. It's okay to suck. I suck every day. And then after a certain amount of time, baseball was done. And then I moved on to track and field, which was really fun because it's easy. You have to do one thing. Run. Run. I like track and field because I consider myself at the time to be pretty quick. I am speed. I definitely wasn't the fastest, but I still prided myself on my ability to run. There's no missing the ball on the ground or throwing a ball at a hoop. It's just run. And that I could do. Nothing really interesting happened when I played track and field, just because it is very simple. Look at him run. Yeah, that, that one's fast. But it was one of the sports I did. There was one day that I became really dehydrated that all I could see was white. Hey, did you see really bright out here to you guys? But... That's less about the sport, more about me being dehydrated. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm alive these days. Anyway, and then I tried cross-country skiing, but that one was the worst because despite everybody's best efforts, I couldn't do it. Every practice after school, we would go out to ski, everybody would be shimmying around, and then there would be me shuffling in place for hours. <laughs> You got this, Andy. Yes, thank you. I don't know what wasn't clicking, but I couldn't do it. After about a month, I ended up quitting. Breaking up with your girlfriend? That's hard. Beating Pogo stuck? It's really hard. Cross country skiing? It's impossible. Sometimes I played golf, but never in a serious kind of way. There was one time when I tried to play golf with a bunch of friends, and it did not go well at all. It wasn't supposed to go well because we were just like, yeah, it's golf. We'll just hit it around, and if we don't get the ball, whatever. But the way golf courses work is that they want to very efficiently have everybody moving along from one hole to the next so there's not a lot of people waiting because a bunch of goofballs want to have a good time. So they took me and another friend, and they paired us up with some random people that we just didn't know. No. They were really nice and they were like, it's your first time golfing? And we're like, oh, yeah, I mean, we've golfed before, but we don't, you know, we're not too good. <laughs> and we proceeded to hit every shot into the rough and they were being really nice and saying, oh, it's okay. You know, you can, you can try again. And eventually they just stopped talking to us because we were so bad. It kind of ruined the vibe. It was really embarrassing to be that bad. But in the end, we met up with our other friends that already finished the course and we got a couple golf carts and then just raced around to them, which is not a lot. I think it made it worth it. That was a good memory of mine. So I've had my fill of sports. Not my thing. Totally understand why people like it, but uh, I draw a cartoon. Not to play sport. Artists don't want to move. They just want to sit and draw. I have carpal tunnel. So that's on playing sports, but watching them, you know, you don't have to be good. You can just watch it, right? Not for me. Oh my god, the amount of things that people have to remember. I'm amazed at people's ability to just know who's who, the rules how well they've been performing. How do you keep up with all of that information? Oh, Billy Bobby Jimmy Johnny got three kickies into the goal just last round. He's been doing pretty good this season. 
What? Who is this guy? And then they changed teams. They were just like swapping them around. That's so much data. I forgot what I ate for breakfast. Or if I even ate breakfast. Oh, it's just way too much. I don't really watch sports or go out to games. I do like going to the stadium sometimes because... The food is yummy. You can just sit in the sun and enjoy a hot dog. It's like a comfortable thing. Being there to watch the game, eh, take me out of the ball game. More like, take me home and stop at Five Guys on the way. I'm hungry. So in the end, uh, sports are good. Just not for me. Thank you for watching. Ah!